Mike Krushima, Portfolio Manager and Co-Founder of Asylum Trading. In about 20 minutes, we get the employment report, and I just want to state up front that the quality of this information is caca. Caca, poo-poo, it stinks, it's pointless information. If you really want to understand and know what's going on in the labor market, go to the Daily Treasury Statement and track income tax revenues directly with a two business day lack. I updated my spreadsheet just yesterday and learned that the labor market is swimming right up river very, very rapidly. Income is being earned, taxes are being paid. And uh, you know, there's no reason to believe we would get a terribly weak employment report today because the most reliable measure of the labor market remains very strong, robust, as Powell might say. The um, process by which today's data is collected and released and statistically analyzed and seasonally adjusted is simple tomfoolery. It's pointless. It's idiotic. It's information destroying by its very nature. But there is information in the marketplace response to the release. Now, I don't handicap this number, I don't make bets on the number, but generically speaking, it would appear to me to be the case that because of AI, what we heard from Meta and what we heard from Microsoft, it should not be shocking. I cannot believe there's gambling in this establishment type shocking to see massive reductions in the workforce in certain pseudo skill jobs like computer programming, okay? It is obvious AI is threatening the livelihood of programmers and to learn that tens of thousands of programmers were laid off in the past three months shouldn't be coming as a shock. So when data gets released and we have an estimate of what the data will be and then it's like a point spread and we're handicapping relative to the spread and blah, 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 you can get stuck in a morass of chasing around a, a red laser pointer like a cat. Don't do it. Watch the release. Watch the marketplace response. Watch two things. Watch the CME FedWatch marketplace response to what does this mean for Fed policy? And then watch what the stock market actually does. If the market likes the number, the market goes up. If the market hates the number, the market goes down. The market's right and the number's garbage. We don't care what the number is, we wanna see the market respond. That's the point of the data, is to see the response. And right now, going into the number, we're seeing an anticipation of a negative response. So it will be interesting to see if the number can actually reverse the hints and giggles that we're getting today, yesterday, and the day before.